Hey there you guys, how's it going? Welcome back to some more Hello Lady. In the last episode, we ended up having an explosion at the training facility where we are practicing our choreography and we are working with Soriko to try to find this flower. And then so we were fighting off Mitori and Saku and then there was this huge explosion that happened and we ended up having to save Soriko and Saku. And that's about all we know. So hopefully we'll find out some more about that, but I wouldn't be too hopeful we'll find out exactly. I think it had to do with that stranger we saw that one night, but we'll see. That night, Tokino and the other teachers were running around trying to deal with the aftermath. The explosion had already become the most infamous incident in the Academy's history, and it would surely leave a scar. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. That's the only thing that could cause an explosion that big. こんな大きな事故が起きるなんてことは。シシカイ先生、万に一つというのはいかなる場合でもありえます。人間は神ではありません。最近はよくない話が多いようですね。先日、ヨミセ先生とおとなしくんが襲われた件といい、例の噂とい
俺とエルに任せとけわかりました私まで倒れたらそれこそ笑い話にもなりませんわねまったくとんでもない事故でしたわ Yeah, I mean, just get some rest. It's been a freaking long day. We had a lot happen. And it was a busy day yesterday, too. Like, this is the first two days of school, mind you. After Mitori walked into her room, Tamao was left alone. Yeah, I think Tamao's smart enough to understand that it wasn't an accident. He's questioning it. I'd received treatment in the academy's hospital and endured Miss Tokino's questions, then returned to my room quite late at night. I wanted to change, but the cast of my right arm made it unexpectedly difficult. Oh dang, I didn't realize our arm was that jacked up. I'd hurt my right arm when some debris fell on it as I carried Saku and Soriko to safety. It had cracked, which was nothing serious, but Miss Tokino insisted on the cast for a few days. I mean, that's probably a good call. I took a shower in the hospital, so my body wasn't mired with filth. However, my uniform was all covered in suit. Changing with just one hand was a pain, but I didn't want to sleep in dirty clothes either. Oh, that's unbelievable. I really wonder when we're going to see Hishia again. It's been a while. I mean, two days, but still. I knew Hishia was quite busy, though, so I couldn't have just called her over. Not that she's allowed on campus, anyways. As I lamented my misfortune, someone knocked at my door. Yeah, gotta make sure he has clothes on this time. Yeah, honestly, your room is pretty boring, my guy. I mean, it's cool. Like, I like the view and stuff, but you could do with some personalization, I feel like. Gundam? What, whatever did she mean by that? You don't know what a Gundam is, my guy? The word reminded me of something I heard in Santiago. Apparently some men preferred to be on the receiving end in the bedroom, and they called the woman who provided such services dominatrix. Perhaps the two were related. No, they're not. No, you have it all wrong. That's so wrong. <laughs> ここは成田君の部屋になったんだよね。その通り、無垢で従順な部屋に私の色をつけ、私の存在を覚えさせることで私のものとしたのだよ。I <笑> will say yeah, it doesn't look like you did much with it at all. Is the wall color different? Is that what you're saying cuz you said you painted it in your colors? I mean, that looks like about all you would have done. Like the most boring room in the world. I mean, to be fair, you saw in his room before, but you might have been distracted by something else. Oh, so that was what she meant. Such nuances were certainly hard to catch sometimes. いいの見ての通り何もないところではあるが住居はあるしの鏡という私の住まうこの部屋は偉大な帝国の玉座に等しいオーラをまとっていると言っても過言ではあるまいそれはどうだろう成田君こんなの持ってるんだ Sorko found a strange looking stuffed object that was basically a green sphere with small limbs attached. Ishia had given it to me when I was preparing my luggage. Apparently, it was a local totem in Okushima, so every proper living space had at least one. 
As the saying goes, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. I decided to follow the local customs. Soriko seemed to like it. She put it on top of her knees. Despite what first impressions would suggest, Soriko was apparently a bit of an airhead. ナリタ君がいなかったらきっと死んでた。ミトリちゃんも感謝してたし、タモちゃんとかエルちゃんも口は悪いけど、本当はナリタ君にありがとうって思ってるはずだから。二人とも良い子なんだけど、意地っぱ
困っていたところだったのだよ。Anyone who'd heard that exchange and imagined something base was a low class brute. Hmm, okay. Well, in my defense, it's kind of hard to tell with Soriko. She makes everything sound very sexualized when it's not. Or maybe it is, I don't know. Though we were the only ones in the room, no uncouth cre cretins had heard the amiable exchange of ours. Okay, that's kind of gross, but you know, good for you. I had Soriko clean my ears. Having my head on her knees as she cleaned my ears was extremely soothing. I mean, that does sound nice. <laughs> Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm really curious to know more about Soriko's backstory. She kind of implied that the world didn't really respect her, I guess, because she, you know, had a halo. And it seemed like they kind of, like, made her an outcast. So it doesn't surprise me that she doesn't get a lot of praise from people. She also seems like a character that just kind of goes with the flow sometimes, you know, and, and tries not to cause trouble. She's really innocent. So, I, I think this is nice that she's getting a little bit of praise for doing something, even if it's cleaning out his ear. You know, kind of weird, but, you know. ここに来る以前の話かね。嬉しいんだけど。well, it's kind of hard to. I mean, you're kind of just secluded in here. Kimiは僕のはただの若者だよね。が、それはそれとしてどうやらそらこ。今まで君の周りにいたものは it's a nice way to put it. Why do you have to say that? You're saying all these nice things about her and saying she's like emotional and considerate. And then you start comparing... <laughs> The fakeness of her chest. And if you actually carried the sin of flatness. Like, r really, my guy? Like, you need to bring this up every time? Like, is, is breast everything? I mean, breasts are great, and breasts mean a lot. But, you know, personality. Am I right? Naritaka. <laughs> Oh. Narita, you apologize right now. You made best girl cry. What's going on? Okay, well, I I think Hishia might be best girl. But you made the other best girl cry. You're fired. I felt a drop on fall on my cheek, seemingly only noticing after I'd mentioned it. She covered her cheeks with her hand. I'm crying. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to read her line. <laughs> it's 
It's okay, Soriko. You can cry when you're happy, too. Kind of weird how it works that way. Hmm. I'm really excited to see her ending. Hey, I'm trying to comfort you. Can you stop calling me weird for like two seconds? Soriko eventually stopped crying. There were no traces of the tears, but her eyes were still fairly red. Alright, you hear that, guys? We gotta be gentlemen to women, okay? You know, we gotta treat them right, wipe their tears, you know? And let me tell you, women cry a lot, so you better be ready. Better get, like, a handkerchief or something. Yes, okay, we're getting backstory. I like this. Soriko took a deep breath and began talking. Oh, thank goodness. I want to hear what's going on with you. <laughs> no, Narita, I don't think that's it. Current mother. You still, we still don't know what yours is. Current implied that she wasn't talking about her birth mother. No, I get that. I mean, my parents got divorced when I was like two, so I understand. The appearance of a halo was menacing to those who didn't possess one. The mentality behind such thought was much like the one behind the witch and heretic hunts of the Middle Ages. However, while those were mostly just fronts to steal the wealth of the marked, a halo manifested with unmistakable clarity. And Etoila's powers were an existential threat, and as such, I could only imagine the depth of Sariko's suffering. The Academy must have been her salvation. My guy, you're preaching right now. You're preaching to the choir. <laughs> I like it. I mean, this was really solid advice. Like, if, if you didn't have, like, a good family situation growing up, like, don't, don't keep looking at the past. If you're constantly worried about the past, you're going to be missing things in the present and in the future, okay? If your home life sucked growing up, like, I'm sorry, mine, mine kind of did too, you know, raised by a single mom, didn't always see eye to eye on things, uh, you know, I had, like, depression and things like that, and she just didn't really know how to handle that, so I, I felt like I was pretty much left alone and neglected a lot of the time, even though she tried to do what she could, she just didn't know what to do, but, you know, if you focus on that your whole life, like, you're just gonna be held back, you're, you're never gonna find more happiness out there because eventually you're gonna move out you know hopefully you'll you'll get married or meet somebody um if, if that's what you if that's what you want to do i mean i know some people would rather be alone but i think most people would rather be with somebody but there's more happiness out there and you can make it with yourself like if you didn't like how your parents treated you growing up then have your own kids and just don't treat them like that you know treat them better say hey my parents did this but i want to do this for you because I didn't like that, I didn't appreciate that, and I love you, and I want what's best for you. I have a eight-month-year-old daughter. Well, 
Eight months? Or is she nine months? I think she's turning nine months either today or tomorrow. But, you know, do better for your prosperity. Keep, keep it going. Don't just have kids because your parents didn't treat you well as a kid. I mean, and I'm getting way off topic here. But, you know, there, there's better things for you out there, especially if you're young. Like, I remember thinking at, like, 16, I was like, oh, this is the worst, man. Like, I don't know how life's ever going to get better. And now I'm 25, and I'm like, wow, life is so much better. I'm, like, so much happier now. Uh, you know, I still get bad days, but, you know, the, things get better. You just got to be hopeful. Sorry for that long rant. Hmm. つまらない感傷と笑うものもあるだろう。あゆみのすべてで作られているものだよ。Oh frick, he knows about the girl. Her words made me freeze. Before I knew it, my left hand reached for the lapis lazuli on my chest, but it was the only thing I had left after all. Does this have to do with her halo? How would she know that? I had no memory of sharing my emotions and memories of anyone besides Hishia. How did Sorago Soriko Katsuragi guess a secret only two people on the entire planet knew? No, she had obvious means to do it, one that surpassed all reason and made the impossible possible. Okay, but what exactly does that mean? Like, you can see memories, or you can, like, see... Like, I need more specifically what exactly your Halo does. I'm really curious, and, like, I hate that they have this rule where they can't say, because it's frustrating, I want to know. I just, I just want a good description of, like, what exactly their ability does. And with Mitori, like, we got that, like, with her kind of how would i describe it like arrows i mean they gave a lot of information about that hopefully we'll get some more about soriko i had to confirm it though that was the case i would have to I think hers is going to have something to do with memories or emotions or something like that. She didn't seem to be lying. A wave of relief washed over me. I was glad. If she could read minds, then there would have been a real threat to my goals, my promise. Scars, interesting. Okay. She'd got it completely correct. Yes, flashback. Okay. The nostalgia blinded me. Her appearance hadn't left me for a single day. I thought she'd only live on in my own heart, and I certainly hadn't expected to talk about her to someone. I appreciated this miracle. This twist of fate deserved my thanks for bestowing her image to someone other than me. Didn't even show her. What the heck? Shansui Mikaido. Yeah. 
ちょっと気になっただけだから Okay, is is this girl, which I'm assuming is his sister, is she related to him? Like, don't tell me this game's gonna take like a Code Geass plot twist, right? Where it's like he's fighting back against the system that his family like is creating. It, th th we're not going in that direction, are we? I just I just want to know. Okay. I feel like we're getting like really intimate with Soraka right now. Like more so than I've ever thought we would. Like at least this early on. She rubbed my cheeks and forehead as if handling something fragile then let go. No, 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 Soraka. Anytime. I'm always happy to bond with you. Okay. No problem at all. My voice was cracking because of how excited I was. I learned something valuable today. A halo could uncover long hidden secrets, and I was glad to learn that there was no mind reading HMIs at the academy. Though I would still have to be careful not to trip up. Despite her words, she didn't move. You need something, Soraka? Uh, hey, I didn't think you were. I just, your uniform kind of flattens your whole chest area because it's a male one. Had it bothered her when I said that flatness was a sin? Oh my gosh. She seems like she could be a religious girl. I could see her being like a nun or something. That was rather crude of me. How could I hurt a maiden's delicate heart with such empty words? What a shameful display. Though fullness was the light, flatness had its own kind of beauty. Even I knew that well. She looked down and just stood there. So Orko seemed to be naturally pessimistic. And if I made her leave like that, it would have left a permanent scar on her heart. I had to find a way to convey my true intentions. <laughs> No, Narita. No, no, no. I know where you're going. Stop. No. No. If you're going where I think you're going, just stop right now. Yep. Stop. Nope. Stop. Just hold that thought. Just say, never mind. <laughs> yes, Soriko. That's the face I wanted. Deny him. Just leave. Yes, hit him. Hit him. What the heck? Soriko best girl. Like, it, am I wrong? Like, Soriko best girl. Okay? Like, Saku's great. Hishia, awesome. Like, right? But, Soriko. Freaking stop trying to teach her breathing techniques. Kokyu <sighs> Oh gosh. Yeah, nobody knew about that. I forgot. There's some people who'd be pissed if they found that out. You're just now realizing this? Like, what do you mean? You were there in the garden before. Well, your desires are pretty perverted, my guy. <laughs> no! <laughs> That's even worse. 
Don't embrace it. Oh my gosh. Narita, we just had this wonderful building moment, okay? Where we really connected with her, right? And she was opening up to us, and she, like, knew about our path, so we kind of opened up to her a little bit. You know, we were having a wonderful time, and I was like, wow, this is really intimate and sweet. And then you, of course, have to ruin it. Like you do always. Talking about breasts. I thought she was there, was she not? She looked down in shock and then faced me again. Soriko! What the frick? Soriko! What are you doing? Oh my gosh, Soriko, I trusted you! You're giving in to him! That's the worst option you could pick! Oh no! And she has the most freaking sexualized voice of any of the characters. I don't even want to read this. I'm so frustrated right now. She presented her beautiful chest to me. It resided under a male uniform, but that didn't hide its obvious fullness. どこか変。いや、変ではないと思う。完璧だ。美しい。これだけのものであるなら複合して確かめるのは惜しい。え？そ、それって。さあ、脱いでくれたまえ。No, stop. Don't make this worse. I'm, I'm just letting it happen. I have no control over it, but I'm no, I don't like it. Oh, thank goodness we're done with that. I don't know. I might have to censor that. I'm not sure if I can show that on YouTube. That's some not appropriate stuff. You know, this is the all ages version. They lied to me. This is the, um, like, 17 plus version. After suddenly getting flustered, Soriko practically leaps away from me. She left without even responding. That was your own darn fault, too. That was your own friggin' fault. Applause akin to poison. Okay, so I think we'll cut this episode a little short. We have some interesting stuff going on, and I'm probably going to have to blur some of that, quite possibly. I don't know. I'm not allowed. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do that or not. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to show that. <laughs> so like, oh, that's pretty intimate in my opinion. But anyways, you guys, uh, we, did, we did get a lot. I mean, there was some nice moments with Soriko, absolutely. And then there was some, some other moments, that's for sure. But anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next episode.